Hey guys, welcome to another Tool Tutorial Friday. Today we're going to be talking about jigsaws. I'm going to show you how to use it. This was um, actually my first power saw, was a jigsaw. Um, it's really great for making um, curve, turn, cuts. Um, it can cut in a straight line if you um, put a guide on there to keep it straight. Um, but it, it's definitely a real workhorse, even though it's a small tool. It's also, also a nice introductory to power tools because um, you, know, you can hold it in your hand. Um, this this saw, I actually my first jigsaw was a different brand and it was a lot cheaper and I'll tell you it really had a hard time cutting through thicker wood and um, harder wood. So I ended up um, upgrading to this one and the nice thing about this is that it has a rotating um, bottom so you can cut at an angle, or like at a bevel. Um, it has different speeds on the top. You know, right now I have it on a 6 or 7. I usually don't play with it too much unless I'm having problems. And the other thing that's nice is that it has a quick release blade. So you just kind of pull up on the lever and it will release. Pull back on the lever, stick it in, and then it is locked in there. Um, jigsaws, there's really not much to them. There is a trigger here that you pull to get it to start. I don't have it plugged in right now while I'm showing you how um, the different features of it. But that's basically it. Um, this one in particular has different um, style cuts. Like it has a straight cut and an orbital cut. I honestly, I've never used those, but another feature that you know maybe you want. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started. Before I make my cut, I'm going to go ahead and uh, draw where I want the cutout to be. Um, on this piece of wood, I have a little semicircle that's cut out so that I can fit a. Um, fit a plug through there. So that's what this is. The other thing that you want to do, you want to make sure you work on a really solid surface and you really need to clamp your wood that you're working on. Otherwise if you, and you have to clamp it two places, just one, this thing's going to move down here. So I always clamp it with two clamps. Now it's not going to move. One last thing before we do cut, Make sure you wear your safety protection. A dust mask is important because the jigsaw is going to kick up a lot of sawdust. Eye protection so that you don't get any chips. And it is loud, so ear protection. All right, I'm all set to make my cut. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, just like any other saw, is I'm going to pull the trigger and I'm going to let it get up to speed and then I'm going to start cutting through the wood. I'm going to go ahead and rest, this is called the shoe, and I'm going to rest it on the wood and I'm just going to slowly you know, push the saw, saw through but I'm also not going to force it through. Um, I don't ever want the blade to actually um, bend or anything. So I'm going to let it kind of cut the wood and, and uh, make my turn cut. And you can see I have a nice curved cut and all I need to do is just sand a little bit and uh, I'm done.